think an itchy scalp is the worst. Finding those small white flakes on your shoulders is not just depressing but also so embarrassing, right? Hi guys, I'm Charlie Samuel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you guys can deal with an itchy scalp. And in case you guys are new to the Be Beautiful platform, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button and also press on the bell icon so you get notified every time we put out a new video. Now let's get started. Before we get into how to deal with an itchy scalp, let's try to understand what triggers it. Dandruff. The number one reason for an itchy scalp is dandruff and sometimes can be really difficult to get rid of. It usually appears when your scalp is too oily or too dry resulting in an itch. It can also be caused by an yeast-like fungus called Malassezia which actually feeds on scalp oils. Apart from that, there are many other reasons that cause dandruff. So make sure you check out the video in the description box to know how to deal with it. An itchy scalp can also be caused by scalp psoriasis which is a common skin ailment that causes reddish patches, dandruff-like flaking, uh, silver-colored scales and also a dry scalp. You'll most commonly notice psoriasis on your knees, elbows and scalp. So in case you find psoriasis on your body, there are chances you'll find it on your scalp as well. And the best possible way to deal with it is to get professional help because you cannot cure it on your own. Another major cause of an itchy scalp is overuse of hair styling products. Now I would often use gels, mousse, cream and hair sprays to style my hair. But soon I realized that the product buildup would really irritate my scalp at the end of the day due to the harsh ingredients in it. Now this was a real eye opener for me and I immediately stopped overusing these products. An itchy scalp can be worsened by your hair care habits as well. Shampooing it too often can dry your scalp out and infrequent washes can increase oil buildup. So there needs to be a balance in your hair washing routine. Go over your hair washing habits and also consider adding a dry shampoo in your hair care routine. So guys, now let's get into the tips on how to deal with an itchy scalp. The first and most important tip is to switch up your existing hair care products. If you're having an itchy scalp, this simple step might actually help in solving your problem in some cases. Certain shampoos contain ingredients like parabens that increase itchiness and irritation on the scalp. So I recommend using a paraben and dye-free shampoo like the Tresemme Botanic Detox and Restore Shampoo which has ginseng and neem in it. It helps to gently cleanse the scalp and also get rid of buildup which definitely means no itchiness. If you have a dandruff problem, however, it's best to go in for an anti-dandruff shampoo. The Dove Dandruff Clean and Fresh Shampoo contains menthol and will help you get rid of dandruff while also moisturizing your hair thanks to the micro moisture serum present in it. It's also a cruelty free shampoo which will help heal and nourish the scalp. Apply it only to your scalp and leave it on for a couple of minutes to work its magic. Use it often to start with and wait for a week or two to see results. The next tip is to wash your hair often. And it's also very important to care for your scalp and hair the same way you would care for your face. The scalp is simply skin. It sweats, secretes oil and sheds dead skin cells. And our hair goes just as many places as our face, meaning it is equally exposed to dust and pollutants. Now during this lockdown period, I had nowhere to go and my hair was always in a bun. So I stopped washing it as often. But I realized my scalp would land up greasy, dirty and waxy and it just wouldn't budge. I'm sure most of you can relate to this. So washing your hair a couple of times a week is a good solution to get rid of any scalp issues. Also, quick tip, hot water is not your best friend. So don't use hot water to wash your hair as that can dry out the scalp further. Switch to lukewarm water and end your wash with a cold water rinse. Cold water will tighten the pores on the scalp and close the hair cuticles, adding moisture and shine to your hair. Now we all know the importance of this next tip for our hair and scalp which is an oil massage. So if your scalp is going through a rough patch, don't worry. The answer is quite literally at your fingertips. An oil massage helps in moisturizing your scalp and it also provides soothing relief when itchiness gets out of control. My personal pick is the Clinique Plus Daily Care Nourishing Hair Oil. It's made with the goodness of mineral and coconut oil. Now coconut oil is one of the most nourishing and moisturizing ingredients out there. Whether it's for your skin, scalp or hair, it can really help with problems associated with a dry itchy scalp. This particular oil suits all hair types 
and it's not sticky in texture which is great because you don't want your hair to look greasy right just massage it deep into the scalp before washing and apply gently on the hair from roots to tips now lastly don't scratch your scalp scratching is a natural reaction to your itchy scalp and i know it's quite tempting but you're only making things worse while it gives temporary relief it can harm the scalp and can lead to infection and inflammation and even hair loss so a hands off approach is best so guys i hope you all like this video it's finally time to say goodbye to that itchy scalp forever do follow these tips and let us know if they helped Before you go do not forget to like share and subscribe to be beautiful and also hit on the bell icon so you are up to date with every beauty video we release bye